Uh, I made a video like this last time and you guys actually enjoyed it so um, that was really surprising and I'm gonna do another one of these because I really liked it too. So this time I'm not gonna sketch, I'm gonna ink. Uh, I think it's kind of interesting like first time I sketch then I ink maybe next time I'm gonna color something in so this character is from another story than the last character I drew um, his name is uh, damn it Kus Kusame 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 I don't know how you, how you say it but like Kusame Kusame I don't know uh, I should know this but I don't apparently so he's from another story of mine which I don't want to get too deep into the story kind of thing because like it's not done yet and like I don't know it's, it's like I, I don't know I just don't want to go too deep into it all right so he's in his like fighting outfit one day you'll find out what that means like why is he fighting what is he fighting against blah blah so I'm gonna trace it onto another paper I'm using printer paper but like this is like super thin printer paper and this is like way thicker Okay, so since this is like a smaller drawing, I'm gonna use my Faber-Castell uh, 0.5 Gripmatic. Um, so I'm gonna use this one because it's like smaller, just so I can really get the details in. I'm gonna line it like very lightly first, so just telling you what I'm doing, so I guess some people like would like to know. For like a bigger drawing I would use my normal polymatic in 0, uh, 0 0.7 so. So last time I talked about how I got into art and this time I like to talk about how I got uh, onto YouTube so. Okay so it all began with, well my sister told me that there was like if I already knew about uh, YouTube. I remember when I was a kid no one had a computer uh, my big brother had a computer and we had one actually but it was like for games, like shoot the shoot the bird or whatever that game was. I don't even know why we played that, but everyone played it at that time. So that was like why would like why everyone had a computer to play stupid games, especially like families. Like you didn't need a computer, right? So we didn't really like my big brother. He had a computer, and then he gave us his old one. And then we were playing, but at some point um, we need the more like internet for the computer, and uh, so it wasn't just for playing anymore. We had internet on it. And one day my sister came home from school and she was like, "Hey, you know about this new website? It's called YouTube." And I was like, "How would I know about this? Whatever." So she showed me, and I really enjoyed it. Now. The thing was that back then we had to share the computer. So we had one family computer, uh, my sister, my brother and me, and I, damn it, I don't know, uh, we were sharing the computer. And um, so my sister actually, as a birthday present for me, she made me an account on YouTube. Now I know how that sounds, it's like, what, that's like her birthday present for you, that's so lame. Um, I was a kid and I didn't know how to make an account. It was very new, everything was new and like sure it's easy to make an account, blah blah, but like back then no one... Like I was a kid, okay? I was a kid. Just so my sister made me my account and I was actually really happy about it. Um, because I didn't know how to do it so I could actually th subscribe to people now. And uh... I discovered like slideshows. Now actually my very first video here on YouTube was a slideshow and it's still up. You can still watch it. If I'm generous go in the description. I will link it if I feel like it because <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. It's kind of stupid but I wanted to make my a slideshow for my first video because I wanted to like I liked them. You know this is all I knew about YouTube was the slideshows. So I made a slideshow and then I I made it with Mo Movie Maker. All my videos were with Movie Maker. Everyone was working with that back then. Like no one was like, oh yeah, we're gonna make some awesome stuff. It was all very simple. So the reason why I watched just slideshows was pretty much just because I... Well, first off, I didn't really know about anything else on YouTube than slideshows. But 
but also I watched the slideshows of like manga and anime pictures and whatnot and I would just when I saw a picture that I liked I would pause it and I would copy the picture not to like tell everyone uh oh, totally enjoy that this was all my idea no it was more like to practice so I was just thinking like okay I want to draw like this I'm gonna try it out and so I tried drawing like them meaning I, I literally draw what they drew so it wasn't too bad you know it was fine and then I discovered uh, manga drawings on YouTube I discovered people drawing they started drawing and I was like oh my god I can actually watch other people draw and make some art and whatnot and I was very excited so back then there wasn't a lot of youtubers or a lot of people making youtube videos it wasn't really i don't think anyone called themselves youtuber back then i think it was more of like a casual uploading of videos you know it wasn't like today like oh we're making money off of this it was like our career um no one was that that wasn't a career like you were just making videos because you had fun at it and you were it was it was your passion or whatnot and uh, that's the only reason anyone was making videos it wasn't like oh I'm gonna upload on Friday I'm gonna upload on this like every day no I was like you upload whenever the hell you want that's that's all I remember being subscribed back then to ZQZ uh, in, which is today's Bailey J as you might know her um, back then her name was Zed Kitty Zed and she was doing manga back then actually uh, she's not doing it anymore but she was doing it back then and I followed her I followed Sophie Chan 19 I think or 99 something with a 9 and she's still kind of making videos on the same channel actually but like not really a lot like like really rarely and um, then there was also Mark Curly, which I don't know. I just you know when when you have people and you just don't have a connection with them, and it's like we can't be friends. I'm sorry. Like that's how I felt with him. You know, like I don't know why, but I just couldn't get a connection. And so it's not like I don't think he's like bad or not funny or not. A good artist or not whatever but I don't know I just didn't have a connection with him and his art so I didn't follow him anymore um, after a, a short period of time actually okay so now I'm gonna use my G pen just real quick I'm gonna tell you what I use now um, you might have seen my video where I made my own G pen which is this one here and I put the G pen inside and I filed it down and blah 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 and uh, the nib is ruined because of all the the trying and cutting it down and filing it and then it just got ruined kind of thing you know so now it's drawing real thick and then I was like shoot I need a new nib and now I'm screwed because I don't want to file down another nib every single time like that's just ridiculous so I found this old pen of mine which was the Lamy, I don't know, a Lamy pen. And it's like very slim and black. And I I had this in like, I don't know, middle school. And the original nib like just broke off. And I was like, what the hell? Like this is a really expensive pen. How, how does that just break off? And so then my, um, I had this for years because it looks so pretty, you don't want to throw it away, you know what I mean. And then my dad, I was like, hold on, I could make something out of this. And so I told my dad to drill a hole in this, like here, he drilled a hole in it, and uh, I could just fit it in. That's how easy it was, and then I can just close it up. I'm not going to close it up because there's an ink on the point now, so... But it's actually very nice, it, it's very nice to hold and I can just take the nib out and change it out and whatever, so it's very nice. Anyway, back to my story. Now that ink is all dried up on the tip, like, 
because I was talking so much in between. Damn it. Okay, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, no one um YouTube this. I was subscribed to them. Okay, so then there um I was like, yeah, I want to make my own video, my own speed paint, and so that came, and uh, that's also still on YouTube. And then I watched other people draw, and then um, I'm gonna link it below probably, so I'm gonna tell you the story of this. Uh, there's one video, it's like called something like how to draw a crying eye or something. And the reason for that video was because I watched a video from someone else, like a guy, and he was like sitting on his bed with like a a block or like like paper just some paper and like this horrible pencil you gotta imagine like sometimes you have these pencils and it feels like the whole lead in front is just scraping your paper off like have you ever had a piece of like a pencil like that and that's what he had he was drawing with that pencil and he was making a video you know if you're not good at art I'm I wasn't good at art either. You need to learn it. Sure. And I did. I posted videos when I was really bad too. And uh, the thing is actually that it drove me crazy back then. That this guy was like, he was like, oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna make a tutorial for my, uh, for, for crying eyes and it was so bad. Which is fine actually but back then it drove me crazy and so I did the only thing that makes sense I responded with a video now the thing was that I made a video in response to him back then you could do that but I think when I posted it I don't think I actually posted it as a respond video because they stopped that very fast I don't think we could I could do that that time but um, I was like you know I'm just gonna respond to that person with a video showing how you actually draw a crying manga which was not the way you did it because it was also very bad but I thought I was way better at it so just so you know there's one video where I'm like super mean rude I was a kid okay so he was also a kid I don't think he ever saw it but yeah, that was my rudeness. I made my own video how to draw manga face and how to do this and I think there's like not a lot of videos of me drawing out there. Then I was on this on my YouTube channel all fine, you know, and then one day I wanted to I turned on my computer. That's when I had my own computer already. And YouTube just told me, uh, you need to make a new account. I think that was something like that that YouTube told me like I couldn't get into my actual account anymore and I was like why not I'm I'm thinking maybe like for copyright reasons or something like that and I was just confused because I like why can I not get into it and that was like oh for a long time I haven't done any hasn't hadn't been doing any videos so it was not like I was sad oh my god my YouTube channel blah, blah, blah. it was more like uh, hey all my subscriptions which was like maybe 50, uh, I'm gonna lose them, like what the hell is going on, whatever, I'm gonna make a new account. Like it wasn't a big deal, today it would have been a big deal for me. I made a new channel and my name, why did I choose this name, you're probably wondering or you might just not wonder at all, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Uh, my name, I actually chose it because I was watching Vampire Night at that time and then I was like, so Yuki means snow, right? And Akai means red because my sister had Japanese in school. And I knew that red meant... Well, red meant Akai, right? So I really liked red That at that time. My favorite color was red and I think my hair was red too at that time. It's red again, but like at that time it was red too, so... I think, not 100% sure, but I'm pretty, pretty damn sure that it was red. So, I was like, okay, and you know on Vampire Night, in the beginning, like, first scene, there's like, 
snow and then there's like blood dripping onto the snow and I always loved the aesthetic of it, like white with red and that um, on that snow, blood on the snow, whatever. I'm crazy, I know. So I really liked how it looked and so I was like, that's gonna be my name. So I named myself like that, thinking I was like super intelligent, like so smart, my name is like unique, no one has that name. Turns out actually if you google it, like there's like so many people who are called like that, like even video game characters, which is like very frustrating and I feel like I need to clarify that I did not name myself after her video game character. I don't play no video games. I'm just really bad at it. And uh, I, I didn't know there was people calling themselves like that, I swear. I was shooting videos with my phone, like these two first videos that I have um, on my channel are with my phone in the middle of the night in my bedroom I filmed them and then I filmed another video which I uploaded and then I made it private again like it's not you can't watch it because it's embarrassing like I made like a video I think it was like introducing my channel or something like that and and basically I wrote down like oh I want to make tutorials I want to make like this blah 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 and I wrote all the things in English and it was so so bad the in my English was just horrible it didn't sound like English at all there was so many mistakes in it so I just deleted or I, I didn't delete it it's still there but I privated it so no one can watch it because you know I could have privated all my videos before that but I'm like no because it's still real you know it's just me drawing but that one was just really embarrassing so and I mean, I'm not that embarrassed about my, my past YouTube stuff because otherwise I wouldn't give you the links to my old channel, which is just ridiculous. See guys, this is what happens when you don't wait long enough for your ink to dry and then you smear it everywhere when you erase. And I should have learned from my mistakes before, but I don't know, for some reason I just keep doing them, the same mistakes. I'm also very bad at the race thing if you didn't couldn't tell. So I'm gonna shade him in now. Um, I'm actually very angry at the fact that he looks so weird now, so I'm gonna go over a few few lines first. I actually don't really know what I should talk about now, so you guys uh, can leave me like questions in the comments if you want to know anything or you want me to talk about something, like just put it in the comments and then I'll talk about it because I don't have any ideas anymore already, which is kind of ridiculous because like it's like the second one but it's actually harder than you might think. Usually I don't talk while drawing up at all, so... Okay, so he looks like a little bit better now. However, as you can see, I need to practice a lot more with my inking skills, that's for sure. Alright, so I think I'm gonna leave this here like this and I'm gonna end the video. Oops. Uh, if you want to see the all finished version of this and many more drawings and whips and stuff on Instagram, I post all these things, so you gotta go check that out. The link is always in the description. Um, at the same time, there's my Twitter also, if you wanna... I don't really post anything art-related too much, but I do post when there's a new video coming out. And um, also, if there's like a problem and I can't upload or something, like that's where I upload it. Like, I, I post that there. And uh, all drawing stuff is on Instagram, so if you wanna check that out. Uh, you can also go ahead and uh, subscribe if you want to. Don't if you don't want to miss it and you want to be notified whenever there's a new video coming out. And um, it's also free, so yes. Why wouldn't you subscribe if it's free? Right? I mean, free stuff is whatever. 
If you want me to do more of these drawing things and talking, then leave this a like. Give this video a like, and I'll know. And if you don't want me to do this ever again, then dislike the video. Please don't dislike the video. So yeah, I'm gonna go now. Okay, bye!